as of late. Um, you know, I, th I thought the guys played hard for the most of the 40 minutes, um, and, and you know, we, we finished at the end. It, we've had some we've had some close games come down to the stretch and missed free throws or some 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 turnovers that really hurt us. We really finished out well tonight. I was really proud of them for that. My God, we shot an incredible percentage tonight. We were shooting 70 plus percent in the first half. But, you know. Basketball's a funny game. You know, some nights the ball's going in and some nights it's not. Tonight it was definitely going in, but I thought we were also really getting good rhythm shots. I didn't think we were, we were taking really bad shots. They were off an extra pass or some penetration, so they, they put us in a good position to, to shoot well. You know, the, their big fella really hurt us uh, the first time, and they're, they're a tremendous rebounding team. They're one of the top rebounding teams in the state. So I think going a little bit bigger, giving us a little bit of a better chance on the boards. And, and I thought we did compete on the boards really well. I haven't seen those numbers, but uh, I would venture to guess we, we hung relatively close with them on the rebounds for the big game. Well, first of all, I just thought they were inconsistent the whole night. But there's a, there's a line that's crossed when one of the players steps on, blatantly steps on them after a play. You know, one of my things is, is I, I'm a teacher, I'm a coach, I'm a parent. But also, the safety of these guys is, is my responsibility. And when that happens and goes, goes uh, just uncalled, then there's going to be a problem. And I probably went overboard. But again, that's my player, and, and that's, that's how I do it. So I'll, I'll protect my players when a situation like that arises every single time. But we played a lot of good games early. You know, this was, again, we finished this game. We didn't miss free throws at the end. You know, we, we had some turnovers, but they weren't back-breaking at the very end. So it's, it's up there. It's probably one or two this year. You know, that's why our record is very modest. Um, I don't think the players benefit, nor does the team, from playing cupcake teams that you're going to run over. You know, um, I think you really, it really shows what kind of team you have in individual players when you're playing the best, and they're one of the best. Gavlin is one of the best in the state.